Hi, my name is Andy James. I'm a Senior Solution Engineer here at HashiCorp. One of the big questions we get asked a lot is how does Nomad compare to other orchestration engines on the market, including things like Kubernetes? So when businesses start looking towards containerizing, one of the things that they look at is orchestration engines. So that could be things like Kubernetes, Mesos with Marathon, they might look at ECS, they might end up looking at um, Docker Swarm, there's all these different things on the market. And the very last one is Nomad. So when you start looking at these orchestration engines, you really want to determine what makes sense for your company. So the very first thing that we recommend looking at is sort of the jobs that they can run. Most orchestration engines are designed to run a Docker container. So the idea here is we're going container, we're going sort of modern applications, we need to containerize everything, so we need an orchestration engine that runs containers. But what this ends up doing is leaving a lot of things behind. When you're focused on Docker, what you're missing is that you still have a lot of infrastructure and a lot of applications that can't run in Docker yet, or might be in the transition phase. Making it easier to provide things like bin packing and redundancy and all these sort of features that an orchestration engine provides to your legacy hardware is very important. So with Nomad, you can run a lot more than just your Docker containers. We support raw and isolated executables. We support Java jar files. And we support a lot of other things. And additionally, our product and our task drivers, which is the drivers that determine what you can run, is open source, which means as a community, we can make Nomad better by providing even more task drivers to the product. A good example is that LXC was provided by our community and is now a supported thing that, that Nomad is able to do. As a product, Nomad is designed to help make sure that moving your applications from legacy to sort of modern containerized is straightforward, easy, and uses the same orchestration engine. And for cases where maybe it doesn't make sense to move the container, you still have an orchestration engine to provide all those feature sets that come with an orchestration engine on your old sort of non-containerized product. The next thing that separates us from other orchestrators on the market is security and networking. While Kubernetes has a product that offers service mesh called Istio, using Istio outside of Kubernetes is extremely difficult. It is possible, but it is a lot of work. We really wanted to make using service discovery, service networking, service mesh really straightforward for all of our users. So built right into Nomad is support for console, our service discovery service mesh tool. What this means is that now your Nomad jobs can have full service mesh service discovery as Console Connect is actually built in, and you can still access all of your other infrastructure that might already be using Console, making it possible for your jobs to create full connections between your Nomad container and something that may be outside of Nomad entirely. Additionally, right out of the box is support for Vault. Vault provides you dynamic credentialing for all of your tasks inside Nomad. So this is something that you can put into things like Kubernetes and some of the other providers. But for us, we built it right in to make it as quick and easy for you to integrate as, as possible. So now you have support for all of your security, all of your networking, and it's as easy as making quick config changes to your Nomad config. From there, we really talk about sort of running a Nomad cluster versus running another orchestrator. Nomad is a single binary. It runs on Windows, it runs on Linux, it can run on ARM, it doesn't matter. What's really nice about that is that comparatively to, our other, to the other orchestrators on the market, we, being a single binary, really have set ourselves apart. Kubernetes is over half a dozen different applications, and Mesos is a similar concept. Mesos itself doesn't have all the features that you need to have a full orchestration engine, which is where things like Marathon come in. And there's actually other frameworks that work with Mesos too. The whole idea here is that for a lot of orchestrators, it is very normal to have a lot of different applications that your operations team is having to learn. With Nomad, all they have to learn is a simple config that's written in HCL, and they have to learn how to handle a single binary that's written in Golang. So it's very straightforward. The other thing we've heard a lot about is that running a pro an orchestrator on-prem is extremely difficult. Because we've talked about earlier how Nomad can run on Windows or Linux, it's a single binary. Running an, an orchestrator on-prem with Nomad is very straightforward. It runs the same way on cloud as it does on-prem. 
This is the luxury and value of an agnostic application. We've had customer success stories, and we have customers that are running over 11,000 nodes in production, managing over 500 developers with a team of four SREs. This is nearly unheard of in the orchestrator market. When we looked at the documentation for some other orchestrators, we found that the average documentation only calls out about 5,000 nodes. For us, we're seeing well over 11,000 and we have customers with many, many more. Because we're seeing customers using so much infrastructure and managing it with so few SREs, they're really cutting down their costs and making their applications and their infrastructure more efficient. With Nomad, we're seeing an accelerated adoption with developers able to learn the product and be able to start using the product within 30 minutes of, their, of learning it, we're seeing a lot less operations teams having to manage and support all of that infrastructure. The very last thing that I wanna talk about when I talk about different orchestration engines is ECS specifically. ECS is an interesting option when you look at sort of how do you wanna do your containers. Unlike Nomad, it is still focused on Docker but what's very important to call out is that it's also tied to Amazon. One of the things that sets Nomad apart and one of the things we really wanted to do is make sure that when you are using our product, you are not tied to any specific cloud. And because Nomad is an open source product first, you will always have access to our source code. So this is all about making sure that your applications can run on any cloud, on any infrastructure, on anything you need to run. When you're thinking about what orchestration engine makes sense for you, the big thing I would recommend thinking about is what type of jobs are you looking to run? Do you have applications that may not be containerized yet that need to be running in an orchestration engine? Do you want to take advantage of things like bin packing? Something like Nomad provides that list and is able to handle a lot more of those applications. The other thing I strongly recommend taking a look at is do you ever plan to be multi-cloud hybrid or just on-prem. A product like Nomad gives you the flexibility to go between all the different clouds and on-prem easily because it's a single binary. With some orchestration engines, it is not possible to leave the cloud that they're spun up on. And even if they are using a generic orchestration engine, the cloud has determined the way that orchestration engine should be used. So even migrating becomes difficult. With Nomad, it's all agnostic, it's all single binary, and it's all simple configs. We don't determine how to use Nomad, but we make sure that you have the flexibility to determine the right way to use Nomad for your infrastructure. If you want to learn more about Nomad, I recommend visiting learn.hashicorp.com and checking out the Nomad track. This will walk you through how to use Nomad, how to do jobs in Nomad, how to do operation support in Nomad. If you want to talk more about Nomad Enterprise, I recommend visiting hashicorp.com and clicking on the contact us link.